Okay, question 18. The cumulative frequency graph shows uh, about the times 80 swimmers take to swim 50 meters. Okay, so we look at it. Use the graph to estimate the median time. Well, if there are 80 swimmers, the median happens at about the 40th swimmer. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go along our cumulative frequency along here at 40. So we go along at 40 until we meet the graph. We must draw our lines on. We read down and 60 to 80 is 20 and they're 10 squares, so each are worth 2. That looks like to me it's 68. So I would say that the answer is therefore 68 seconds. Okay, so that's for the first part. Right, next. Um, a swimmer has to swim 50 uh, metres uh, in 60 seconds or less to qualify for swimming. The team captain says more than 25% of the swimmers have qualified the swimming time. Is the team captain right? You must show your answer. Now, the important thing about cumulative frequency graphs, another name for them is less than graphs. Okay, so for example, if I look across... Um, if I was to read uh, up here uh, at, at 68 seconds, it's telling me that 40 people got 68 seconds or less. Okay, so what I'm trying to find here in this question is I'm trying to find a swimmer has to swim 50 meters in 60 seconds or less. So I'm going to draw a line up from 60 seconds. So I'm going to draw a line up from 60 seconds. Right? And I'm going to read across like that. Now, that looks like to me, it's at, if each one of these is worth one, that looks like it's at about uh, 28, okay, to me. That looks like it's at about 28. So to me, that looks like 28 people, 28 people, okay, got 60 or less seconds. Now the question is, is it more than 25%? Well, it's, it's 28 out of 28 out of 80. Okay, 28 out of 80. Now, 25% would be 20 out of 80. That would be equal to 25%. So this to me looks like, yes, it is certainly um, more than that. So 28 out of 80 is definitely more than 25%. So is he right? The team captain, yes, he is right. Um, it is more than 25%. Now, for these 80 swimmers, the least time taken was 28 seconds. So uh, here we're going along 20 seconds with 10 squares. So each one's worth two. So I want to mark 28. 28 would be uh, 28 would be here. And the greatest time would be 96. So there's 90, and you go three squares because each worth two 92, 94, 96. That would be 90, uh, 96 there. Use the cumulative frequency graph and the information to draw the box plot. So we need the median. We've already estimated the median. We estimated that as 68 seconds from a previous part. So 68 seconds would be here. Okay. And we want the lower quartile and the upper quartile. So if there are 80 people, the, uh, the lower quartile is at 20 people, it will be here. So we read that off the graph. And also the upper quartile would therefore be at 60. So again, we read that off the graph. Okay? So we're going to read these off the graph. The lower quartile there looks like to me like it's uh, 52. So it's 52 for the lower quartile. So I'm going to put a little mark here at 52. 50 two and then the upper quartile over here looks like to me that it's equal to 76 so it's going to be equal to 76 which is here now i'm going to draw these with a proper box now you would use a ruler to do these properly so like that and you would draw your lines out here to a lower number to your upper number and to your lower number. 